Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix high CPU usage in Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions, just make sure of the following. Clean your PC's components. This can happen as dust and dirt can act as an insulator and thus cause internal temperatures to rise considerably. So the insides of your PC must be cleaned regularly. Another solution is to restart your PC, and I know, as simple as it may sound, this can solve a lot of problems that you're facing. So just click the Windows button, then simply select the power icon and click on the restart option. Then check if the problem still persists. So the first solution that you should take in consideration is to optimize the startup applications. To do this, just right-click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options. In here, simply click on the Startup tab. Now you can see that you have a big list of programs that usually start whenever you turn on your PC. So make sure to simply disable the ones that you don't need at all. So just click an application and then simply press on the Disable button in the lower right corner. And whatever remains enabled is the antivirus. So if you have something that you don't need, simply disable it. You can also disable any unused apps running in the background. To do this, simply click the Windows button, then select the Settings icon, and in here on the left pane, make sure to click on Apps, and then on the right side, click on Apps and Features. Now you can find all the apps that you don't need, but in this case, I will use the clock as an example. So you find the clock, then you click on the ellipsis next to it, and select the Advanced Options. Now in the background apps permissions, just make sure to click on the drop down menu and select Never as an option. Now this program should never run in background. Another useful solution is to check the Windows 11 power options. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then on the left pane make sure to select system, and afterwards on the right pane scroll down until you find the power and battery section. In here, scroll a bit down until you find the power mode, so click on the drop down menu and select the best performance option. This will make sure that the computer takes all the energy it needs to run in the best performance mode. But if you're already using the high performance power plan, you can do the following. Press the Windows button, then type Edit Power Plan and select it from the search results. In here, just click on Change Advanced Power Settings and afterwards in the Power Options window, just scroll down until you find the processor power management and double click it to expand it. Now go to the minimum processor state and make sure to set a decent amount of percentage for the minimum processor power. Let's say if I put 50 in here, on battery and 50 in here on plugged in. Otherwise, you can also go in the maximum processor state and make sure that this is maxed out both on battery and plugged in. Lastly, just click on apply and OK to save the changes. Another useful solution is to update your drivers. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select device manager from the list of options. In here, try to find any problematic driver that isn't updated, double click the device category and then right click the problematic driver. Just select Update Driver from the list of options and then click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best possible driver for your PC. Another useful solution is to check for Windows Update. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply select the Settings icon and then on the left pane scroll down until you find and select Windows Update and then on the right side you have a blue button that says Check for Updates. So just click it. Now wait until Windows will find the best possible updates for your PC. Afterwards, you can just install them and then restart your PC to see if the problem still persists. And lastly, you can also check the Windows 11 installation partition for bad sectors. To do this, simply click the Windows button, then type in CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Now you can type or copy-paste the following command from the description below, then press enter. You will now see that check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. So you have to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts. In this case, just press the letter Y and then press Enter. Now, the next time the system restarts, check this will engage and it will scan for any potential errors. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.